Hi, I'm Jenny Campbell. I'm a Kennel Club Assured Breeder and these are my flat-coated retrievers, Tara and Hetty. You perhaps will remember Hetty from almost two years ago when I bred my first litter with Tara and we followed the progress of the puppies at that time. So I've just had a second and last litter with Tara. That's important for my breeding plans to continue the lines of the flat coats. So in a couple of years time we'll breed again from uh, then from Hetty and from the new girl as well and it enables us to continue the line of pedigree flat coated retrievers. Well, good morning everybody here is Tara and all her 11 puppies on 21st of May feeding really nicely there we go look at them all lined up at the milk bar so once the puppies are born, during the first week, it's really about keeping a really close eye on them to make sure that mum is looking after them, to make sure that they're feeding properly and they're nice and warm and nice and clean. And these three are having uh, an extra feed at the milk bar tonight because I've been weighing them each day and these three are the smallest. A couple of big fat ones in this box who had had more than their fair share. So they just went into there for a little sleep. So really it's about being very observant during that first week and making sure the puppies are thriving. During week two, the puppies were much more settled and so was mum and so I could enjoy looking at them and looking at the different sizes and different personalities appearing. And of course their eyes open about day 10 so I'm always having a little peek to see who's having a little look out like this. So it's lovely to see that they can see the little world around them as well. Good morning everyone. So 12 days old now and definitely a lot more active than Wrigley. It's just focusing on Mr. Green who's moving around there. Tara's there in the box cleaning the puppies, some of whom are feeding and some of whom have clearly fed and are sleeping. This is Miss Marigold. Hopefully you can see her with her eyes open looking at you. Yeah, she says hello. So week three, I start to prepare to give the puppies their first worming. It's important to worm them at three, five and seven weeks. So. I worm them and I also start thinking about giving them some weaning food, some goat's milk, some goat's yogurt or some mushed up puppy food. But it's lovely to see them starting to take their uh, first licks of food. So this morning I've decided to give them some goat's milk yogurt along those trays there. Um, as you can see, they're wading into it and getting covered in the process. There we go. Oh, a tissue. Hello, Miss Purple. Mm. You're so sweet. Hello. Weeks four and five, the puppies are certainly getting a lot more mobile. There's a lot more mess to clear up. There's a lot more noise as I bring the food into them. So they're usually shouting for their food by this stage. Play day. Are you looking at me, Mr. Navy? So in week six, I move them to a, a bigger facility outside where they can romp around and enjoy the fresh air. Now the sun and the heat has finally subsided. These little pupkins have decided to get up and come out and play, which I don't blame them. There you go, little, little, little play time between those two. Little rolly round with that one. So at week seven, I can see quite a difference between all of the pups and I'm starting to look which one will be the girl that I keep out of the five girls I've got. And also the six boys, there's a couple going to show homes. So I'm trying to spot the one that says, look at me. Also, I have a lot of engagement with the owners at this stage, doing video calls and sending them pictures. It's really important that the owner also goes on this journey with me and so that when I meet them at uh, week eight for them to collect their puppy, they almost feel part of the family already. You already have a name for her? Yes, Summer. Summer, how oh, lovely. Summer. So Sue, just a quickie, I just thought it would be helpful if I went through what to expect next week when you come to pick her up. You'll get your paperwork in um, a Kennel Club puppy wallet and then within that wallet you will have um, an ownership certificate for Summer with her name on it. You'll also get a copy of my sales contract. I sent this to you a few weeks ago to make sure you were happy with it. Additionally, I've uh, spoken to you about insurance. She will come with five weeks uh, free insurance from the Kennel Club. You will also uh, have copies of the hip and eye certificates for both father and mother. 
Nurse will come with it as well. So those are a requirement under the Shield, Shield Breather Scheme for both mum and dad to have health checks, and that's copies of those. And of course, her beautiful pedigree here, which shows her name at the top, and mum and dad and grandparents and great grandparents and great great and you know several generations on there, of which there is full information about all of them uh, via the via the Kennel Club and other data sources. So you have a full ancestral tree of her. Do you have any questions for me? No question really, it's just really to thank you and, uh, and we look forward to, I can't say the word journey because everyone says you shouldn't say that, but the, the adventure of a new black coat and you see your support and guidance if you've been there. I'll always be here for, for you both and for summer and as I say there's always lots of help and advice on the Kennel Club website as well. So today we're going to microchip the puppies, which are almost seven and a half weeks old. It's a really important process to microchip them. It is a record on a database of where your pup lives, so that if it should become lost, a database can be checked and the uh, dog can be returned to the owner. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the shoulder blades. So we're going to make a little TP uh, uh, above that with my fingers, and then I'm going to put the needle in. It's important that we make a positive action with this so we get it straight through the skin, which is quite thick. And then we can uh, we can get the, um, the chip right in. Damn, good boy. Week eight is when the puppies all go to their homes. It's sort of a bittersweet time in that it's a bit sad to see them go, but it's also nice to see them going with their owners and having one-on-one -on -one attention, which they need by that stage. And I want to give my own puppy more attention as well. So the owners will come and collect their pup and we'll go through all the paperwork and then I'll stay in touch with that owner usually for the rest of their life. So if you're thinking of getting a pedigree dog or a rescue dog or a puppy, I always recommend that you look at the Kennel Club website. There is a host of information there on all the different breeds and help on breed health information and training and lots of other information. So go to the website and have a look.